Welcome to the Game Audio Resource Wise and Unreal Audio Implementation Guide Series. In this guide, we'll implement player character footsteps to be triggered by the Unreal Blueprint nodes and animation timeline tagging. We will add a Wise switch so footstep assets can change depending on the surface type the player character moves over. Please note, this is only a suggested process to help you get started. There are many different and more advanced methods to implement footsteps and a surface type Wise switch. One of the limitations of using the blueprint suggested in this guide, you will lose the ability to hear footstep sound effects in the animation editor. In this step, we will set up the basic WISE hierarchy structure to use a material-based surface type WISE switch. The surface types we will implement for this guide will be grass, gravel, rock, water, and wood. Navigate to the audio tab, actor mixer hierarchy, character, CHA underscore footstep actor mixer. Right click the actor mixer, then select new child switch container. Name it CHA underscore FSP underscore human. Right click the switch container, then select new child random container. Copy and paste as many random containers needed to match the amount of surface types you will be implementing. We will implement five random containers for this guide. Then name each container individually the surface type you wish to use e.g. grass, gravel, rock, water and wood. Drag in one shot footstep run audio assets to each of the random containers, matching the assets to the surface types. Place the assets under the file importer destination path, SFX, character, footsteps. Next we create the wise surface type switch for the switch container to use. Navigate to the game sinks tab. Under the Switches folder, right click the default work unit, then select New Child Switch Group. Name it SWT underscore surface underscore type underscore anim. Right click the new switch, then select New Child, then Switch. Copy and paste the switch so that you have the number of switches needed for the amount of surface types you wish to use, e.g., we will have five. Name each switch individually the different surface type names you are using, e.g. PM underscore grass, PM underscore gravel, PM underscore rock, PM underscore wood, and PM underscore water. Ensure the PM underscore is prefixed before the surface type name. These naming conventions will reference physical materials in Unreal via blueprint nodes that we will implement later in this guide. Return to the audio tab. CHA underscore FSP underscore human switch container. In the general settings tab, switch then group. Assign the new SWT underscore surface underscore type underscore anim we have just created. Set the default switch slash state to any of the surface types that you are using, e.g. PM underscore rock. With the switch container selected, in the contents editor, Drag the corresponding surface type random containers onto the associated entries in the assigned objects list. Right click the switch container, then select new event, then play. Navigate to the events tab. Find the event, then drag it into the character CHA underscore footstep virtual folder. Rename the event to SFX underscore CHA underscore FSP underscore human. Save the WISE project updates and generate the sound banks. Check the SB underscore character sound bank to ensure the new footstep content is included. Next, we update Unreal with the associated WISE data and we associate the WISE switch surface types to Unreal materials via new physical materials. In the Unreal toolbar, navigate to Edit, Project Settings, Engine, Physics, scroll down the list to the Physical Surface list. Add each of the surface types you have set up in WISE, e.g. Grass, Gravel, Rock, Water and Wood. Close the Project Settings window. In the Contents Browser, Content Folder, right-click, then select New Folder. Name it Physical underscore Materials. Double-click to open the new folder. Right click, then select Physics, then Physical Material. In the pop up window, select Physical Material, then click on the Select UI button. Name the new physical material PM underscore grass. 
or one of the surface types you have set up in WISE. Double click the physical material to open its properties. Under Physical Properties, Surface Type, in the drop down list assign the associated surface type, e.g., grass. Add further physical materials for all surface types you wish to implement, assigning the surface type in each new physical material. Save all physical materials updated. Navigate to the content browser, content, starter content, materials folder. Open the m underscore ground underscore grass material. In the details tab, left hand side of the screen, under physical material, phys material, in the drop down box, assign the associated physical material, e.g. pm underscore grass. Go through all materials in the folder, assigning a PM surface type most fitting to each material type. Once all materials have been updated, select All Materials, then right click and select Save All. Open the WISE Picker. Then add the new WISE event SFX underscore CHA underscore FSP underscore human to the CHA underscore footstep folder. Double click the event. Then assign the event to the SB underscore character sound bank. Save the event updates. Then generate the sound banks. In this step, we update the run animation with new footstep and in notify timeline events. Navigate to the content browser, content, first person, animations folder. Open the first person underscore anim BP. This is where we will add blueprint nodes to support anim timeline anim notify events. First, we need to change the animation timeline footstep notify events that we implemented in chapter 04A to a custom notify event. As only one animation exists using footsteps, we only need to modify one animation. In the top left of the first person underscore anim BP, select the animation option. Then open the first person underscore run animation. Right click the timeline, then select add notify, then new notify. Name it anim underscore sfx underscore cus underscore fsp. Copy and paste the notify event, then place the second notify event halfway through the timeline. Save the animation update. We now add new blueprint nodes, allowing the engine to call all surface type parameters we have set up. Return to the AnimBP event graph. Click on the Blueprint option in the top left of the screen. In the event graph, right click, then search for the event node, event anim notify underscore anim underscore sfx underscore cus underscore fsp. Selecting it adds it to the graph. In the My Blueprint tab, under Function, click on the plus button. Name the new entry, Get Surface Type. A new tab opens with a new function we can build with. We will return back to this in a bit. Return to the events graph. In the My Blueprint tab functions list, drag the new Get Surface Type entry into the graph. Right click the graph, then in the search box type Post Event, then select it, adding it to the graph. In the Post Event node, AK Event, Assign the SFX underscore CHA underscore FSP underscore human wise event. Copy and paste the try get pawn owner from the nodes in the blueprint. Now connect the nodes as follows. Event anim notify underscore footstep to get underscore surface type. Get surface type node to post event. Then try get pawn owner node to post event actor input. Mouse drag a box around the four nodes. Then press C on your keyboard, creating a comment box. Name the box SFX Footstep Anim Notify Event. Next, we set up the function Get Surface Type. Click on the Get Surface Type tab. Right click the graph. Then in the search box, type Line Trace by Channel. Then select it, adding it to the graph. In the node, tick the Trace Complex tick box. Right click the graph. Then in the search box type, try get pawn owner. Then select it, adding it to the graph. Drag a line from the try get pawn owner, return value output. Then search get actor location. Then select it, adding it to the graph. Right click the graph, then in the search box type, vector plus vector. 
then select it, adding it to the graph. In the node, change the bottom Z value to minus 100. Connect the following nodes together. Get surface type node to line trace by channel node. Get actor location node to line trace by channel start input. Get actor location node to vector plus vector top input. Then vector plus vector to line trace by channel end input. Right click the graph. Then in the search box type break hit result. Then select it, adding it to the graph. Right click the graph. Then in the search box type set switch. Then select it, adding it to the graph. In the set switch node, Name the switch as SWT underscore surface underscore type underscore anim. This must match the Y switch name in Ys. Right click the graph, then in the search box type return node. Then select it, adding it to the graph. Then connect the following nodes together. Line trace by channel, out hit output to break hit result. Line trace by channel node to set switch node. Set switch node to return node. Try get pawn owner return value output to set switch actor input. Finally, we need to convert the path from break hit result node to the set switch node. Drag a line from the set switch switch state input. Then search string to name. Then select it, adding it to the graph. Drag a line from the string to name node, then search top string in brackets object, then select it, adding it to the graph. Drag a line from the two string object node to the break hit results physical mat output. Drag a box around all the nodes that we have just implemented, then press C on your keyboard. Name the comment box SFX surface type PM reference. Save and compile the Anim BP updates. We can now test our updates in game. Load the map that you're working with. Connect Ys to Unreal. Then change the Ys layout profiler. Filter the profile log by the footstep content. Solo the associated footstep content in Ys. In game, now move the player character around the map, moving over different floor surface types. You should now hear different footstep audio assets being triggered depending on the surface types the player character moves over. Make any balancing changes you wish to add. Disconnect wires to Unreal. Save the WISE project updates and generate the WISE sound banks. Lastly, generate the Unreal sound banks. This guide hopefully gives you an insight not just to footstep implementation, but an idea of how to implement WISE switches. Due to a lot of oddities, random bugs, or simply odd processing issues with surface types, you may encounter some bugs. The base landscape terrain can cause quite a few issues. If you're finding surface types do not currently work, Ensure you have applied the following changes to the landscape tile. In the details panel, under landscape default physical material, assign the default material you wish to use for all your landscape, e.g. water or grass. Under the details panel collision, generate overlap events, check the tick box. Even with these suggestions, false positives can be experienced. If you're still having problems with the surface type on the base landscape tiles, a hacky solution would be to add boxes just above the base landscape terrain, then add the needed materials to each box. This should help all surface types to work across the landscape. 